Hi, this is Gary Brinkman, Pioneer Agronomist in Central Michigan. Today I'd like to visit with you about slimy slugs and the damage they can cause to corn or soybeans. These are slugs. Fortunately, most Michigan growers do not have to deal with slugs this large. These are my slugs, the slugs that I found in my vegetable garden, eating all my vegetables. So exactly what is a slug? Slugs are not insects, but they're mollusks. Therefore, they're not susceptible to the soil applied insecticides or seed treatment insecticides that we use to control below ground insects. Slug females lay eggs in the fall. Generally, the eggs overwinter and juvenile slugs will hatch in the spring. Moist, high residue environments are a slug's delight. Therefore, it is more likely to see slug feeding damage in no-till and or fields with heavy crop residue or cover crops. I've seen more feeding recently where we've had some pretty heavy cover crops. Slug outbreaks are increased by mild winters followed by cool, moist springs. If the eggs hatch at the same time as crop emergence, the slugs can cut off the corn coleoptile or the soybean hypocotyl, resulting in pretty severe stand losses. So how do I know if I have slugs? Slug damage is usually seen as pretty severe leaf feeding of the lower leaves, as seen in this picture. Slugs can eat both the leaf and the stems of corn and soybeans and cause very severe stand loss. Slow crop growth from cool, moist weather can see lower leaves totally devoured. This field was planted wet, remained wet. In opening the seed trench with my spade, I found three juvenile slugs that were skeletalizing the leaf tissue by feeding at night. That's the other thing. It's pretty rare to see slugs during the daylight hours. Fields with high crop residue are ideal candidates for potential slug damage. There was severe stand loss as a result of slug feeding. You can see that clearly here. Slugs will devour soybeans as well. You can barely see the plants that remained after these slugs devoured these soybean plants. The open trench allowed the slug easy access to those succulent soybean seedlings, unfortunately. The slug damage was so severe, the field had to be replanted. Here's a short video that helps explain what to look for when diagnosing slugs in the field. Here's some uh, leaf tissue that's been damaged by slugs. And if you dig down around into the residue here, um, slugs at this stage uh, will be very, very small. Uh, but you might be able to find one or two. Um, they're usually uh, buried in the soil during the time during the day. Um, as far as control, uh, there are some slug baits, but slug bait becomes rather expensive. And some sort of tillage, even some vertical tillage, but especially row cleaners where it moves the residue away from the row is probably the most economical and feasible way to control slugs at this point in time. Some additional thoughts on controlling slugs. Slug baits can be applied in a band following planting and quite honestly are the preferred control measure. Now some growers have reported success with applications of 28% UAN solutions, but remember these nitrogen solutions can severely burn the leaf tissue. If you're considering this method Early nitrogen application at V3 is preferred to minimize any leaf damage. Tile drainage will help reduce excessive moisture. Remember, excessive moisture is the preferred environment for slugs. Periods of warm, dry weather cause them to retreat deeper into the soil depths where they no longer feed on leaf tissue. And there's not any evidence suggesting they feed on the roots as well. If you're looking for additional information, you can find it at osu.edu fact sheet ENT-20. This has been Gary Brinkman, Pioneer Field Agronomist in Central Michigan. 
Thanks for joining me on another field adventure. If this video has been helpful, please give me a thumbs up, or if you don't find it helpful, give me a thumbs down. Have a great day. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.